How's it going YouTube? This is Skull and welcome to episode 7 of my Pokemon TCG journey. Wow, uh, it's hard to believe that I'm 7 episodes into this and uh, as of this episode, I have 134 Pokemon cards in my Pokedex binder, which means I have just a hair under 15% of every Pokemon that has a card so far, which is just insane to think about. Um, so, I'm actually going to go ahead and start off this video by showing off a Pokemon card that I'm not putting in my binder, because it is my boy! <laughs> Look at this absolutely beautiful Hisuian Samurai V-Star Gold Secret Rare. Oh man, I'm so happy to have this, and it was just a few bucks. Um, I'm debating really hard whether I want to add regional variants and megas and, uh, you know, stuff like that. Things that are completely separate uh, Pokemon, um, well, not completely separate Pokemon, but have separate cards and forms and stuff. I'm debating with myself whether I want to add those to my Pokedex binder or not. I'm kind of leaning towards no right now because then I'd have to get, like like I said, I'd have to get Megas, I'd have to get Alolan Pokemon, uh, Gal Galarian Pokemon, Hisuian Pokemon, uh, I'd have to get like male and female cards for some of the Pokemon, but uh, for now I'm leaning towards no, I might change my mind later, we'll see. But this is just too beautiful of a card for me to pass up, I mean look at my boy! I love Samurai so much, and I was super happy to see it get a uh, Hisuian form in Pokemon Legends Arceus. And when I found out it, it had a gold card. Um, it doesn't quite make up for the fact that they did not give it a shiny card like they did with Superior and Inboard during the black and white card era, but it's pretty, and I will happily display this in my uh, shrine next to some of my other favorite cards, like my gold Lati or my Latios Gold Star, I guess I should say and uh, a few other cards so anyway um so yeah not going in the binder but a new tcg pickup that i thought you guys might like to see now let me go ahead and show you the samurai that is going into my binder so um i got this one specifically because this is the uh crystal shard hollow um that was part of the samurai theme deck that released with the black and white um <clears throat> excuse me starter decks and uh, I got this one specifically for a few reasons. One, it's the very first Samurai card ever. Two, look at that art. Look at my boy. And three, I actually have nostalgia for this card. And all of the starters, uh, all the Unova starters uh, with this Crystal Shard Hollow, because this was my reintroduction into the TCG, um, basically since base set, uh, since, since the Wizards of the Coast era. Uh, in 2010, 2011, whenever this came out, I, uh, I, I know it's crooked, sorry guys. Whatever. Um, me and my wife went to, I think it was Walmart, it might have been Target, and we, uh, picked up a few theme decks, and we got Superior, Samurai, and Embor, we got each of them, with the, uh, beautiful Crystal Shard Hollow, of course, just look at that. So, the, the, the cards that we have from those decks are long gone now, unfortunately. But I was thinking, you know, Samurott's one of my favorite Pokemon, and if I'm not going to put a uh, gold boy, beautiful golden boy in there, then what am I going to put in there? And I could think of no better card than this Crystal Shard Hollow, and I plan on doing the same with Inbor and Superior in the future. Um, so yeah, beautiful, beautiful card, can't wait to throw this in my binder. Uh, and the seller that I bought it off of eBay also included this very adorable Oshawott card. I have no idea what set this is from, all I know it's not from the black and white era. I would actually add this to my binder, except that I got another Oshawott, which I'm going to show you in just a second. But yeah, so, uh, seller on eBay, whoever you are, thank you for the nice little bonus. And, uh, let's see. So, I have another card here that I bought separately. This is a uh, promo Dragonite that was given away to people who went to see Pokemon the first movie in theaters. So, if you went to see Pokemon the first movie in theaters, you got one of four cards. You got this Dragonite, you got an Electabuzz, you got a Pikachu, and I'd like to say that the final one was Mewtwo, but I don't remember for sure. I'm, I'm like 90% sure. And, uh... And I was thinking, you know, I'm on a Pokemon the first movie high right now, and uh, this is not the oldest Dragonite card, but it's really close, and I actually do like the art of this more than the one from Fossil anyway, so 
Um, yeah, so my, my fan dub is about to come out in uh, just a few weeks now. If Dragonite features prominently, and I'm nostalgic for this, and I was like, you know what, this right here is the Dragonite card that I want to add to my Pokédex binder. So, went out of my way to get it. And, uh, ironically, I think this might be the single most expensive card that you see in this video. Silly at all that happens. Um, anyway, so, on to the mother load. <laughs> this is a package that I got from Troll and Toad. Um, I went ahead and ordered a whole ton of cards there, spanning pretty much every generation except for three, because the last Troll and Toad order that I got was, uh, only Gen 3 cards, so I figured may as well spread it out and get some from a, some other eras. And I need to make it clear, I'm not going to get stuff off eBay or Troll and Toad every single month. In fact, I'm going to try and avoid it as much as possible, but, um, I just felt like splurging a little bit, and it's, it's a lot easier to get, like, 20 cent, 25 cent singles from there than it is to try and find them at local retro stores that only focus on the, the big cards, you know, the $20 or $25 or $100 cards from, from way back when. Anyway, so, uh, adding a few more cards to my collection, we're, we got this uh, Caterpie from Base Set, and I just gotta say, like, considering the fact that this is almost 25 years old, it's kinda in pretty amazing condition. And I know people, there are people out there who take good care of Pokemon cards and stuff, but you gotta remember, most people back in the 90s who got these cards were kids who did not take care of them. I, I've shared this story before, but my very first card ever was a first edition Charmander and I ruined it within two days of owning it because I took it with me into the shower because like I thought you know Charmander is my friend I want to have my friend with me everywhere and uh water bad on cardboard so so um yeah I'm, I'm happy that these are in good condition though anyway got a Dratini uh to go with the Dragonite and there's already a Dragonair inside the binder so that's that line complete and again, just look at how good condition this is. This is an even better condition than the Caterpie. A little bit of whitening there at the bottom, but perfectly acceptable. Got this adorable Cyndaquil from Neogenesis. I oh, mean, just absolutely adorable. Uh, I love this old art. That's why I'm collecting older cards as much as possible. I could totally get a newer Cyndaquil for like a few pennies if I wanted, but um, but the old one, like one of the first ones, there were there were two in this set. This was one of them. So basically, the first Cyndaquil card, you can't beat that. It just mm, nostalgia. Uh, we got a Hoot Hoot, also from Neo Genesis. Uh, Zatu, is this from Neo Discovery? I used to be really good with sets. Of course, that was back when I was into the TCG. Um, now this is another from Neo Genesis, Mareep. I just love that art, even if it is Kensugamori art. I I don't care. Like, look at it. It's it's awesome. This. It's just so nostalgic to me. This is what Pokemon should look like, this this art style. Got Gligar, which ironically, I don't know if I ever actually owned this when I was going for a complete English set. Um, anyway, there's the first Oshawott. It's the uh, same one that was in the theme deck as the Crystal Shard Samurott. See, told you I had another Oshawott that I was putting in my binder. And there's a Duwat from the same set. So yeah, Oshawott line completely done now. I love the Oshawott line. I love Samurott. It's my boy. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've got Venipede and Whirlipede. I love Schoolipede, but that was just a little too expensive to justify right now. I'll probably get it later. I just, I have so much nostalgia for the black and white base set specifically, which is where almost all of these, if not all of these Gen 5 cards come from, is black and white base set. Just, it was my first real re-entry into the TCG back in the early 2010s, and I'm nostalgic for it. It's I refuse to believe it was a full 10 years ago now, but it was, and I, I really want to get all of the base set, the black and white base set cards as much as possible. Uh, we've got a Croc Rock from the same set. I would love to get the uh, Crocodile as well. I think that, if I remember right, Crocodile was... Was there a base, uh, a black and white crocodile that was a shard hollow, or was that from Emerging Powers? I don't remember. Anyway, so we got hopping forward to Gen Six here. Just realized I don't think I got a single Gen Four card either. <laughs> That's pure coincidence. Anyway, um, so I got this breaks in it, and I got this mostly just because I couldn't decide which breaks in I wanted, and in the end, I decided I wanted this one, and I wanted to get it before I changed my mind. Simple as that got an onage here um and i'm very proud of myself i actually at one point had 
a 100% complete black and white series and XY series. Like every single card from a set from the black and white and XY series. So I have owned these cards at some point. Okay, and now we're on to Poplio and Gen 7 and on, I, I do not know. But I know this was, I think this was one of the first Poplio cards. There's like three total to pick from and I just like the design of this one most. Uh, we got this really adorable Solandit. Uh, it's so adorable. So mischievous, though. Uh, we got this Drizzile here. I just really love the look of that. And um, I also picked up this Single Strike Urshifu. It was between this and uh, whatever the other one is. And of the two that have just normal, straight up, non-V, non-star, whatever, just regular, normal looking cards, I liked this one better. Simple as that. <laughs> and my last card to show off is Zarude, of which I think this is literally the only choice available, again, for non-special non cards. So yeah, that is the um, my Pokemon TCG Journey Episode 7. Of course, super excited to have added two new Samurai cards to my collection. Proudly going to display this one in my room, in my shrine. This one will probably go into the binder. Let me know what Pokemon cards you have picked up lately. And of course, make sure to check out my Pokemon The First Movie fan dub when it premieres on the Project's Discord server on November 12th. Uh, my video game pickups should be coming out at the end of this month. And I'll probably do another TCG Journey video next month uh, at the end of November. I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, that brings this video to a close. Thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more. Wow, what kind of timing was that? Electricity literally just went out. Wow.